First and foremost, I would like to say good afternoon to our municipal officials headed by our handsome mayor, Honorable Timoteo Dick S. Valdarde III, together with our energetic vice mayor, Honorable Wilfredo M. Pescador, and also our municipal councillors, our very own principal, teachers, students, friends, and parents. Again, good afternoon. Graduation. Graduation brings closing chapter, new beginnings. Graduation marks more than the end of more chapter in life and the beginning of another. I am here today to give my speech about my success and struggles that come to my life. At a very young age, my parents teach me how to read and write. I am a child dedicated to learn something new about everything. My parents are very strict to me because I am their first child that time. They have so many rules, like before you can play outside, you have to write and read more books first. That was so memorable to me because I graduated first honor on my daycare day. It is so much fun that time. On my daycare day, I remember something. I was crying when my mother and my father left me beside them because I was thinking that time that if they leave me alone beside them, I become lost when I go home. And also, I remember that time that my classmate didn't want to color the cactus on our book because he thinks that the cactus would hurt him. So that was a memorable, memorable funny daycare day. When I entered elementary, I realized that I want to learn more about something to gain knowledge and information on what's happening in the world. I am struggle, struggling a little bit that time because I wasn't able to pass projects and also reporting in class. So I am totally lower in rank and there is no good with that at all to me and also to my parents. But also they accept all of my inaccuracies because they believe that there is no perfect in the world, that everyone or every day he or she are being on top forever. There is no such people with that kind of being faultless. On the other hand, elementary days is not only about unhappy situations, but happiness should I describe it for me. Because we, my classmates, are playing together with any problem without any problems that we have. Also, I describe my elementary days as joyful because as I said, there is no problems we encountered yet or we are not being mature enough to have problems. We are thinking, playing, 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 only around the school. Donya Ari Elementary School, my alma mater, the teachers and our principals, principal here, are teaching us good lessons or morals that we can apply to our daily life. They are good in disciplining children like me to go through a good pathway and not in a bad way. Grade 6 graduation, a wonderful night and a milestone in our life. The important date in the academic calendar when students celebrate academic achievements. It is not the end, but a new beginning to a new horizon of career. We sang our graduation song entitled Salamat by Yen Constantino and who am I? We actually cried that day because that was a memorable day called graduation. I'm a little bit matured when I enter high school, but I am struggling when the first class began because I don't know what to do, what to do. In the afternoon class, I become confused because I don't know where to go or what teacher where I go. But hopefully, I entered her class. High school life. According to people, high school is the most memorable year of all time because we can experience a lot of things like having a girlfriend or boyfriend, adolescent stage, being matured, and etc. You can make new friends and new people that you could encounter from your school. And that's good to us to make new friends. Just treat them in a good way and nothing but intentions to them. That was made them happy and they know that you are a trustworthy person. High school is not that easy so much. We can see here how students are being dedicated and determined of how they act and using their intelligences. 
Also, we can examine here of how students give her, given their great and bad attitude to their classmates or being approachable to their teachers. The year 2018. A year that full of sorrow, grief, and sadness. A year that cannot explain everything to me. A year that questions how and what is happening to us. I am sadly to say that my handsome and beloved father had passed away. And the time he said, the time he said, goodbye, because he has taken by our Almighty God to heaven. I describe my father as a superhero and a hardworking person, because he will do anything and everything for us, to support our family, our needs, our wish for, and also protect us whatever happens to our family, especially his children. I question myself, what will happen? What will happen now? to our lives without a father. In my mind, I would probably accept it, that even if we go, we would fight this challenge. We can survive these consequences that comes in our family. Back in the high school, me, myself, and I, I described myself as one of the most luckiest grandson in the world, because I have a very kind-hearted grandmother on my father's side that supports me always from elementary to present days. I am proud of my grandmother because she is a humble fish and vegetable vendor in the market many years ago up to now. And I am very proud that I have that kind of grandmother like her. Sometimes I help her to sell her products when I got free time. I am very happy because if it is kind of small things, she always appreciate it. I describe her hard work as her happiness because she always enjoy sale products and also that was her business for life beginning from young to her old self my grandmother also helps our family in case of her important needs and she gave us a little bit of allowance for the bills of her house i couldn't describe my feelings on what she do to our family i am overwhelmed every day when i see her always i am very speechless because i don't know what to say in her my only words to say her is thank you. Thank you because you're always there for us whatever will happen. Thank you because you keep supporting me always, not only me but also to my family. Thank you because you're always there for us. Thank you very much for everything, my beautiful grandmother. I always pray that always be healthy and keep safe, keep safe always. Back in the high school again, Grade 10 moving up, or what we call completion. It is very sad that it couldn't happen because of this kind of bad situations, or also what we call the COVID-19 pandemic. Pandemic is a kind of epidemic that spreads worldwide, and sad to say, it never happened. Today is our graduation day. Graduation is a grand ceremony meant to celebrate an individual's academic achievements. It is the time when all those sleepless nights and random breakdowns become all worth it. Students, faculty members, and parents are acknowledged for their never-ending support and constant effort. It can be also be the most memorable yet sentimental day of a person's life. I therefore conclude that never stop dreaming, because all of your hard work will pay it off. Not now, but soon. Patience is the key and always pray to God. All of the impossible things will become possible. Just remember that always believe in Him. Your family support you always together with your relatives and friends. Boost your confidence. Show to everyone your talent. Don't be shy because being shy can never boost yourself. You can never become successful. Always remember that always be good to everyone. And always in your mind, that education is the key to success and never be taken by other people. It is your treasure that has given to you by your parents because until your death, it cannot be gone. I am Oliver Soriano Serpion, your valedictorian for school year 2021 to 2022. Again, a pleasant afternoon to each and everyone.